Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at a very interesting add-on known as Simply Concept. Simply Concept is made available by JSLAV, very same creator that gave us the Simply Cloth, the Simply Cloth Pro, the Simply Mesh and also he is now doing a very nice bundle pack which is the Simply Add-on Bundle. So this one is right here just in case you want to save $24 from all of this, you can go ahead and grab the Simply Bundle. I'm going to put a link in the description that can bring you right over here. And of course, if you like the Simply Concept, link to this is also going to be in the description that can bring you right here. So what is the Simply Concept? Simply Concept is more of a tool that he has made that can help you concept things quicker and easily right here in Blender. So to get started with this, there's a documentation that you can read up or you can simply download it and then fire up Blender and take a look at how this actually works. So with Blender simply open right here, all you need to do once you purchase it or once you download it is go over to edit, go over to preference and install the add-on. And once you do that, press N on your keyboard and you notice that we have simply concept right here. So simply concept works in a very interesting way. One of the ways that it actually works is, first of all, you'd need to be careful about the version of Blender that you're working with because this only works with Blender 2.93 and above. Anything less probably wouldn't work. And then the next thing is this actually uh, voxelizes your meshes so just in case you're into concepting or you're considering doing that then this is a good pick for you so to get started all we need to do is just press the tab key and then we'll select this and select that and potentially what i would like to do is uh, let's take a look at this from this view move this all the way to this point all right you know what i want to do right now what i want to do is just to add the mirror modifier so i'm just going to delete that and uh, we'll press the tab key make sure that we have this one selected jump right here go over here throw in that mirror and make sure that we are mirroring right there okay this is cool next thing press the tab key and then you see it now with the simply concept if we have this selected and click on simply concept it you'd notice it voxelizes the mesh now that it has voxelized this mesh you can now proceed to start doing some more interesting things so some of the things you can do is with this object selected if you go over to your edit mode you can select any part of this object and let's go in and tap e on the keyboard to extrude that part out and we can do that and we can also select these other part and you know we can bring that part all the way down and we can also do the same thing right over here so let's also go ahead and uh, make another selection and move this all the way back and you can hit on ctrl r if you're into you know adding loops you might want to add a couple of loops and you can notice that we're just doing our simple modeling and we're having everything happen on the fly now if you're Thinking about adding more elements, there are a whole lot of elements that you can add here, basically primitives that you can add here. You can play with the voxel size, you can play with the smoothing. If you would like to, you know, quadri flow remesh this, all right, that's a lot of words. If you like to do that, you can also do that once you're done with the concepting. So how do you add things? For example, if we'd like to add a simple torso, we can have that there. And uh, right now, if we simply select the object and we move it all the way here, you can notice that now we don't necessarily see this you know it doesn't mirror it because we haven't told the tool to mirror it and of course if we'd like to you know get a mirrored version of this what we need to do is we need to tell the tool that we would like to mirror this within the y-axis and once you do that you would notice that we have it right here you probably won't see that so to get this visible we need to click on the join button and now we can see that so if you press your tab key and you go in and you have a selection like this you can also, let's go ahead and make a selection, Ctrl and L on the keyboard to make that selection. We can move this however we want. So I can also go ahead, let's move this one right here and keep that there. And we're also gonna do the same thing here. And then we can move this other one right over here and you can start seeing what we can do with this. So I can move this right to a point like this. Let's uh, rotate this one a tiny bit and uh, let's bring this one down to a point like so probably we should you know bring this forward i don't know okay so that looks good so we can also scale this a little bit more something like that we can also do the same thing here so i think we i sort of mixed the movement of these things so i can also make a selection from here move this one over to this point let's scale this one up a bit probably we should align this so let's uh Let's rotate this so that it looks more like something like that. So in this case, if you're also thinking about adding more stuff, let's say you want to add some more stuff. For example, you want to add a simple sphere like this. 
you can so you can also go in add a simple sphere and we can have that one right there if you also want to go in and start doing some more modeling stuff of course you can so we can also go in here and start doing some modeling stuff actually let's do that here select one and two press i on the keyboard to push that one in let's also move this all the way towards this point and then we would also extrude this path all the way in and then insert one more time all right so you can as well do some lovely things like this and in terms of boolean there is actually a difference and a union boolean that is available so let's test that one real quick before we go so if we click on this button right now and we have this added if i raise this all the way up you can notice that automatically it is part of the mesh okay so we can uh, rotate this and you notice that we have this sort of mixing stuff going in so we can have this one here and i can position this all the way to the back and you can see that so we can also hit shift and d on the keyboard to duplicate that and we can move this one about a point like that let's scale this one in raise it all the way up to a position like so and guess what if we'd like to make a difference we can set that to become a difference and then we can scale it in and you can start noticing what we uh you know what we're having so we can position that in right there and now you can see what we have so in this case you can have both unions and at the same time you can also proceed to have differences and currently this is still in its experimental stage this particular ones are within the experimental stage so you might want to consider you know taking a look at them and uh, seeing how much of a thing that you can create with this and of course if you like to turn on wireframes you can turn on wireframes to preview what your final result is looking like and you can set this to become smooth or set it to be shaded and of course you can increase the smoothing if you know you want it to be a bit more smooth or you can turn it off if you want to have it a bit more jagged so depending on what you're trying to create these things are right here for those who like to play with the voxel size you can set this to 0.1 and you know how voxels work the bigger the size or you know the higher the number the bigger the sizes of the voxels and the lower the number the smaller the sizes of the voxels so this is also something that you should think about while trying to create your amazing artwork so this is more like it for those who like to go in and grab it link to this is going to be in the description so you can do well to check it out and right now you can notice that there's an average rating of five star which is pretty cool and of course for those who like to get a much more you know a nicer bundle probably you're thinking about how you can save up on simply cloth simply mesh and also the simply concept which is a brand new one you can go ahead and grab this bundle right now and save yourself 24 dollars for all of these things and that's about it of course i'd like to know what you guys think about this one in the comment section simply concept is right here for those that are into concepting you might want to take advantage of this beautiful add-on and start creating quick and nicer concepts right here in blender and make some interesting and amazing art piece tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss next video or the next update and i'd like to see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace